Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm with DGN TV, guys, and today I am going to be getting it done in Skolomance. Hell yeah, guys. Uh, as you are probably aware, I am leveling up my hunter. Uh, he's now level, what, 41, 42, 42, something like that. And uh, I wanted to take a look at Skolomance A, uh, you know, because that's where I am in terms of where my level, level is. Uh, Skolomance is like a 38 to 48... Um, level range and B. I don't think TGN really has any uh, go throughs on Skolomance, so I thought I'd be the first one. Um, as always, guys, before I uh, get into the, all the gameplay here, and I started off dead, um, I want to let you know that I am not as high a level player as some of the other guys on here. Uh, a lot of you guys are aware of that, but for the few of you that haven't seen any of my videos yet, um, yeah, I get it. I'm not quite as good as the other guys, so that's all good, but I'm working hard on it. And uh, like uh, we said in a video in the past, my buddy uh, Hengist and I, we're going to be doing a buy winning series together. Uh, he is going up as a priest. I believe he is a shadow priest. And uh, right now I am specced as a BM hunter or a beastmaster, but I'm probably going to move over to a marksman because I believe they are a little bit better at the moment uh, in terms of DPS. But... Uh, let me know, guys, um, A, if you know, if you guys are excited for that series, uh, awesome. And B, as I go here, guys, if you detect any, uh, things I can do better in terms of, you know, my gameplay, in terms of my style, uh, please let me know. I'll make some comments as I go here. The ultimate objective of what I'm doing here is not really to teach people all that much, um, although if you learn something, that's great, um, but it's really just to try and get better and get ready for the big series coming up, so... Please leave all your comments, all your questions, everything you got for me. I, I uh, read them all, and I try to respond to all of them. <laughs> and if you've seen any of my previous videos, uh, you know that I do, in fact, read them, and I do, in fact, respond to them. Anyways, I'm dealing with Raz Frost Whip Whisper here. Um, real quickly here, this is a pug group. This is a pickup. Uh, my friend there, uh, Catalia, Catalia uh, it's a cool name, um, she invited me to the group. And uh, I said, yeah, you know, let's go do some Skolo. And uh, anyways, I'm providing some of the DPS. Um, what do we got here? The guy went down. I've got a Corpse Maker currently equipped. This one here requires level 40. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to go with Greed on that. Uh, remember, uh, that actually, I think, is 0.2 DPS better than what I got now. And it has the same buffs, stamina and agility or whatever. Um... I'm not sure if it's proper etiquette to roll need for something like that that is a marginal upgrade to uh, what you've got currently equipped or what you have with you if it's not equipped but you have a, that sort of item already with you. So um, first question to you guys, what do you think about that? If it's a marginal upgrade, do you click need for it or, or, do, you run, or do you roll greed for it? Um, also, if you're new to the game, <laughs> uh, I'm just exploring here, guys. I'm not lost. I'm just out for a walk. Um, if you haven't run many dungeons yet, um, you, you'll notice there that, uh, you can, oh, stop. Yeah, okay, guys, my, uh, video is broken up, I apologize, uh, poor splice job on my part, um, eh, whatever, all good, we're back into the thick of things, where am I? I'm taking on Instructor Militia, or Militia, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. But whatever. Pretty badass. Um, anyways, yeah, so you'll notice that I got a bunch of um, add-ons going on here. None of them are... Well, I don't know. I've got nine, I believe, is my current total. And I forget all the names of them. I could check them, but uh, whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. One of the things that I'm always asking as I go here, and I had a point, I swear to God, is what add-ons do you guys use? You're going to notice that I am a hunter, of course, but... Uh, in general, if for all your characters, what add-ons would you use? And more particularly, uh, what add-ons would you use if you were a hunter? I'm a Beastmaster. Don't forget that. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested in what you got. I got nine right now. I got friggin', uh, I got Bagnon. I got Bartender 4. I have, uh, what do I got, Scotta? What the hell? No, yeah, um, I got Omni CC. I got Power Aura's Classic. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I've got uh, some sort of, oh, Jesus, whatever. I got a bunch of other ones. But anyways, my point is, is what do you guys use? And more importantly, why? Why do you use one over another? Or alternatively, why do you use none? 
um, Hengist, who I'm going to be leveling with, he is a minimalist. He doesn't like to use all that many uh, add-ons at all, and that's cool with me, man. I mean, everybody to each their own. Uh, I tried out a whole bunch, and um, I'm enjoying the ones I got so far. Uh, I'm clearly not using them optimally, so if you see an add-on in here and you think I should, uh, you know, try something or, you know, activate it for Christ's sakes, that'd be helpful. Um, just let me know. And anyways, Eva Sarkov has been burned. Oh, that sounds lovely. Um, yum. Let's burn the biatch. She's a witch. She's from Salem. Yes. Witch burning. Okay, light... Well, I don't know what the hell this is. I'm just banging on this thing here, so whatever. Um, so anyways, while I got here, you're going to notice that I got cougar... <laughs> uh, my, uh... Yeah, I don't have Aspect of the Hawk on. I got Aspect of the Cheetah or whatever the hell that is. Um, that's because it allows me to run a little faster. And, uh, well, whatever. Uh, the Doctor is in. I know I should switch to Aspect of the Hawk, but uh, I'm feeling lazy at the moment. Um, okay, so, anyways. I got my pet out, doing my thing. Got my auto shot going on. My first macro is a macro... Uh, it basically casts Hunter's Mark. It tells my pet to stop whatever the hell it's doing and go and attack the uh, assigned target. It's quite a good macro. Um, it's not my own. It was suggested to me, uh, but whatever. It's pretty good. Um, also, you're going to know here, guys, that I have, uh, I've got a Razer Naga. I'm not promoting their product. I don't really care, but uh, the mouse is really good, um, and I mean really, really good. Once you get, your, once you get the used to, I'm going to roll. Uh, once you get used to, you know, the buttons on the side there, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. I got uh, medium-sized fingers, so uh, I don't really have any uh, trouble with it. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, why I say that though is because my one through nine, or actually one through ten keys, are what I use, and I'm quite good at uh, at hitting them. Generally, I'm a little, I miss a little bit on the ten, and uh, occasionally I uh, garble my six for my nine. Oh man, that's what she said. <laughs> uh, yeah, I occasionally, I uh, mangle that one up, but, uh, generally I, I hit the keys or I hit the number pad pretty good. Um, you're going to notice I also got shift, uh, bound. So I've got currently, and this is it, by no means, does this the right way to do it or the best way to do it? I am, I'm not sure. Um, but I've got, uh, all of my attacks, my personal attacks, like my hunter attacks are on the, uh, action bar one and then action bar six which is the one right above um well right above uh my regular action bar i've bound all those to shift so basically all i got to do is move my mouse and either hit shift or not hit shift and hit the buttons on that um on my on my mouse that in my opinion makes me not a clicker um i see so many messages like oh you're a clicker you're a clicker personally i mean I don't know, I've clicked and I've not clicked. Um, not clicking, I'm a lot better when I don't click. Um, when I <laughs> when I just, uh, you know, mouse it and, you know, hit the shift and hit my naga, I, I can tell already that I do a ton more damage, and I'm still not that good at the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, so keep that in mind that it is definitely worth uh, trying this style out or, a, or at least a uh, modification of, of what I've got going on here. The, uh, you know, the animal uh, special attacks are on the top bar there, so, you know, shift one is, uh, you know, whatever the hell, shift two is intimidation, shift three is play dead. That's kind of my own, but uh, I can't really fit it on my bar uh, effectively. I was considering moving uh, wing, uh, wing clip out and putting feign death on the zero, but the zero is sometimes tricky to hit, uh, so... That's what I'm doing. I've also got Flare, so I'm just going to cast it because it's kind of cool. It does nothing of value, but uh, I like it. What else can I tell you here, guys, while I'm rolling? Um, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, keep in mind that I am still a pretty... I'm only a, a, a you know a medium-level hunter. I'm not definitely a pro by any, by any stretch. So, of course, like I said earlier, if you have any tips, if you have any suggestions... Please leave me messages, guys. I, I incorporate them all. A couple guys, everybody said, get a Naga. So I got a Naga. You know, you said, okay, try out these add-ons. So I tried out those add-ons. I mean, I'm, I am definitely trying to learn from everybody. And uh, <laughs> judging by my previous videos, guys, I, I was getting two, 300 comments a video. And uh, 
I don't know. I just really like that. It makes me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Um, white bandit mask. That would be pretty badass now that I think about it. Shit. Should have got that. Oh, I got to beat that out. Hell no. Um, yeah. So anyways, progressing on, guys. We're still rolling through Skolo. Having a pretty good time. Uh, let's see here. What else can I talk about while I walk? Maybe I just won't talk. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I'd tell you some jokes, but, uh, well, I'm all fresh out of jokes. Oh, guys, another thing. Um, I just did a stand-up comedy show at a local comedy club in front of, like, 300 people, which was pretty pretty scary, but it was pretty awesome. Uh, most of my jokes worked, and I was thinking about posting it into the channel. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you guys think about that. Uh, if you'd like to see something, it's not directly World of Warcraft related, but it is me doing my thing so let me know what you guys think about that if you'd like to see it um i do have my own channel big c is ftw um i'm not plugging my channel because i use that basically to respond to other uh people rather than use the tgn world of warcraft account i use my own account uh, i got some you know worgen leveling there and i got some rift videos and stuff but uh yeah um i was gonna post it there that was my point and i had one <laughs> I've said that twice now um, so, yeah, let me know if you guys would be okay with that. Uh, if you are, uh, I'll post it. Whatever, man. When I get a copy of it, I'll uh, digitize that bad boy and post it up. Good times. Um, you're also going to notice that in some of my previous videos, guys, I'm kind of over the top in terms of, um, I guess you'd say, persona or personality. It's not that I'm not being me or I am being me. I like to have fun. I like to entertain. I love to tell jokes. I like to get, I like to swear and call guys names. Like I mean, you know, it's good times, and I can't wait till I start PvPing because the the number of curses and and oaths and vile deprecations that are gonna come out of my mouth are just gonna be something awful. Like it's gonna be really bad. If I do a PvP with Hangus, there'll be so much swearing that he'll spend at least six hours bleeping me out. That's not me putting on a show. That's just how I roll. If you know what I mean. But uh, anyways, yeah, what I was saying is, is you know, I, I know I could be a little bit over the top in some of my other videos, but uh, just keep in mind that, you know, I just like to have fun, and if that means I gotta, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't know, be a little bit goofy, that's just kind of how it is. Um, I like my, uh, I like my stupid hats, and I like my goddamn pimp goblet that I got and stuff like that, so just keep that in mind. I'm having some fun, so um, I know some of you guys don't like my style, but a lot of you do, uh, at least most of you do. I'd say 95% of the comments I get are favorable. The other 5% are, dude, you drive me nuts, and dude, go on a diet. So, you know, two things. One, I'm working on my diet. Uh, <laughs> I am trying very, 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 very hard. Um, and uh, two, well, whatever. Actually, I actually only had one point. That's it. Um, Skolomance is actually kind of easy, guys. Um, at least what I'm seeing so far. I'm just sort of burning my way through this. I assume there are a lot harder uh, dungeons or whatever, but uh, yeah, Skolo so far is easy. I'm not sure if I can do this on a harder mode. That might be fun, actually. Um, do this on super hard mode. Um, yeah, um, but whatever. Okay, let's get back to the gameplay. So, in, in general, guys, I just got a bunch of new abilities, actually, before I go on. Um, and I'm not actually 100% sure, you know, about them. The one that gets me my focus back... Clearly, that's pretty badass. Serpent Sting is well known. Um, obviously, you know, it does its little damage over time. Plus, it does a little bit of damage up front, too. Uh, I try to use a lot of kill command, obviously, because I'm a Beastmaster at the moment. Uh, Intimidation, I find to be very useful. It has a two-minute cooldown, of course. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I use a lot of Arcane Shot. And when that's failing, I go to Steady Shot. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Number five on my bar there, though, you'll see is a headshot, or I think that's what it's called. Um, and that is a pretty awesome friggin' move. It allows you to, like, really do some extra damage if you're, uh, if the mob that you're up against is under, I think, 20% health points. I think that's it. Um, you get to do extra, extra, extra damage. So that's a really sweet new addition to my arsenal, so to speak. Um... Also, uh, what else do I got here that I wanted to talk about? I'm not very good with the uh, wing clip or whatever the hell that is, um, where you, you know, stun your opponent and you disengage. Um, 
I prefer usually to use disengage, sorry, um, where you kind of fly backwards and then, you know, you keep shooting off your, uh, your rifle or your, or your, uh, your bow or whatever the hell you're using. But, uh, I mean, yeah, again, guys, um, better hunters out there than me, all of you, well, a lot of you are. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Um, if there's anybody out there that uses a, uh, that uses a Naga, let me know, you know, what your keybinds are. How do you got things going on? What macros do you use? Um, I will actually approve any video that's made that's a response to my videos personally. Like, I can, I can, re I can do it for other people's videos too, don't get me wrong. Like, but, uh, I mean, I pay extra attention. Anybody that makes a video saying, hey, Big C, this is something you might want to try. Here's me doing it in a video. Okay, cool. You know what? I approve them. I approve them all. I, uh, I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time out to, to help me out, to help my viewers out. If that gets you an extra two or 3,000 views or something cool like that, you know what? Hey, everybody wins then, right? So um, please leave me video responses. Um, I approve them all. As long as they're kind of on topic. If they're off topic... But I like them, or I think they're hilarious, <laughs> or it's got hot chicks in them. Um, I approve those two. <clears throat> Excuse me. I approve those two because I got low standards, and you know that's just how I roll. Uh, so, anyways, yes, we're taking on the Ravinian, or the yeah, the Ravinian. I hope my pronunciation is uh, okay. I don't want to cause any confusion. But uh, the Ravinian, we're taking him down, and I'm pretty much laying in the the standard stuff, guys. I'm giving him the old doggy treatment, and then I give him the arcane shot. Followed by a little bit of steady shot and the odd concussive uh, serpent sting in there for, for good measure. Um, oh, we got to collect our mana. Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm finishing up the quests here. We got quite a few quests in this bloody place. Um, yeah, what do I got here? Skullomance, Skullomance. Apparently, Skullomance is like a place where, I don't know, a bunch of... It's like an education or like an academic institution gone wrong <laughs> and i when i say wrong i'm guessing really wrong but uh anyways dark master ganling is in the other room and well i'm gonna greet him with some shots uh oh right another thing that i want to talk about guys patches are coming up a recent patch and another one's coming real quickly here um does anybody know oh jesus they closed the door on me with these guys oh this is bad news for big c i think i am gonna get my ass ganked off no no they opened the door what the f what am I in? Freaking amusement park? Why is this shit happening? <laughs> um, oh my god, what was I talking about? Now I'm distracted. Um, yes, okay, yes, I was saying, uh, yeah, the patch is coming, guys, so there's going to be some changes to Hunter. Um, what do you guys, uh, what have you heard that's coming? I, I haven't read the forums lately. I haven't checked out the blue posts, though I will be checking them shortly. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, is the Hunter in for a major nerf? one and two is it merited does do the hunters actually deserve a nerfing my understanding is they are still at the top of the dps charts with death knights but um again uh that is my basic understanding i could be wrong on that so please weigh in let me know what you think and oh look at this magic stick skull man's down for the win silent fang oh should i go for this thing I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with greed. And I won it, but my inventory was full. So how epic a fail was that? What, what just happened there? Did I just fail on the most epic, horrible level ever? Oh, boy. Um, whatever. Okay, guys, that was just bad. That rat's offending me. I'm going to get him. Um, anyways, yeah, so... Uh, and another thing, guys, do you like, uh, you know, my more laid-back, subdued, chilled-out, you know, go-through, explain things as I go, ask questions, or do you like the Red Bull charged-up Big C more? Um, I mean, they're both kind of my personality, but sometimes I get a little bit more into my videos, if you know what I mean. And generally, I do drink a lot of Red Bull, and uh, when I drink a couple of those bad boys, or, or when I drink couple coffees before I get in because I'm poor and I can't afford Red Bull, um, if and when that happens. I already prefer, uh, basically, you guys like that a little better because I don't want to be boring. That's the last thing I want to be. And the most important thing I don't want to be is not myself. I cannot go through this and just talk to you guys monotone and tell you that I am going through Skolomance and my voice has no inflection. 
I am inarticulate. I lack eloquence and uh, uh, all that crap because I can't talk like that. That's just not how I roll. That's not how I talk. So it's not going to happen, but I am interested in terms of what you guys like in terms of uh, the types of videos I make. So if you've made it this far through the 20 minutes already, I like you guys 10 times more than I did before this video. <laughs> and uh, please let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to turn in these quests here. We rocked Skolomance in a very noobish fashion on my part, but uh, I got it done, and that's kind of all that matters. I got to get rid of some of this crap in my bags here. What else? All this shit. Jesus, why didn't I just nerf all this crap before I got in here? That would have made sense. Let's see. Do I have Silent Fang? Why, I do not. What a effing... Oh, F my face, F my life. Where the... Oh, Lord. Okay, guys. Well, noob biscuits, noob sandwiches, noob cakes, noob cookies, noob everything. Big C with the noob action. And it looks like I actually for, didn't pick up one of the uh, letters in one of the rooms because I wasn't paying attention. Big C for the win. But whatever. I got my level 42, and that makes me happy, guys. I am three levels away from starting the buy winning series with my buddy Hengist. That series is going to be all manner of win. Hengus is an excellent player, as, you, as we all know. He knows his shit. A lot of the questions that I ask will be answered by him. So I will actually improve in a big, big way just by, you know, kind of rolling with him. And, that, and, you know, the same goes for rolling with a lot of the other guys. Uh, you know, the Tallies and the Rurikons. Everybody sort of does their own thing on their own servers. Everybody's got their own personalities and stuff like that. Um... So, to each their own, uh, you know, I, me and Hengus get along pretty good, because, you know, we've got, you know, uh, we're kind of like, not opposites, but, you know, we got a lot of things in common, but uh, we also got a lot of things that were different in one, he's competent at the game, and I am only medium competent at best, and two, you know, he's very knowledgeable, I'm very, you know, hyperactive and good to go, if you know what I mean, and, uh, you know, it helps to set up some jokes and stuff, because... You know, you always need a, you need a straight man. Anybody that does humor uh, in a group situation always needs somebody to, you know, run your jokes off, help you with the setups and stuff. So vice versa. It's going to be an awesome series, guys. This is Big C. Skolomance is over. I'm checking out. Thumbs this shit up.